hi hello everyone so today next problem is under uh, target rate of return rising order target rate of return is so here there is one company they have uh, mentioned these many details so first uh, they have provided provide us um, the direct uh, cost details so direct material for uh, the manufacturing is 11.20 direct wages that is labor is um, 3 rupees 3 per per unit and variable overhead is 0 0.80 so in total all the direct cost we have it is 15 that is 11.20 plus 0 0.80 will be 12 and 12 plus 3 will be 15 so in total direct cost which we have is 15 rupees rupees 15 okay next they have given us a fixed factory overhead so fixed factory overhead they have given in rupees and per annum so 6 lakh 60 thousand next fixed selling and distribution expenses is 3 lakh 60 thousand so if we add all this to cost so fixed cost will be 10 lakh 20 thousand so 10 lakh 20 thousand will be the fixed cost and the variable cost per unit will be 15 rupees so next they have provided us the annual sales so here annual sales already provided there next capital employed as we are doing this target rate of return target rate of return and the capital employed kutte kutte so 9 lakh rupees capital employed either. next so here they have uh, divided the capital so that is in current assets 50 percent of the sales so whatever this sales is there in that 50 percent they are telling us that it is the uh, capital employed in current asset that means they have purchased current assets from 50 percent of the sales amount so 50 percent of the sales amount in 50 percent of the sales amount they have purchased the current asset so so what is the target they are want to achieve is 20 percent on capital employed okay so let's look into the solution so see here so we need to calculate the selling price right so selling price per unit we need to calculate and they have given us the sales amount sales amount cut to the selling price per unit calculate marbeko i 20 percent return and 20 percent return barbeko uh, are the now selling price na calculate marbeko so first given information note koli total sales so total sales here so first we will consider the selling price as x so as we don't know the selling price we will consider it as x for finding it so we should calculate the selling price with the help of the sales amount right so sales amount given here is 4 lakh units 4 lakh rupees that is 4 lakh units so 4 lakh in 4 lakh I x means we need to calculate selling price right so 4 lakh x so next capital employed nodi capital employed in amount that is in fixed assets our cut is 9 lakh plus 50 percent of sales in current assets so 50 percent of 4 lakh means 2 lakh will be so here 9 lakh in fixed assets and 2 lakh in current assets that is capital employed next profit he calculate marbekan tell the 
from the capital employed they want 20 percent of return see here 20 percent of return so 9 lakh plus 2 lakh x into 20 percent so if you multiply 9 lakh and 2 lakh into 20 percent means 1 lakh 80 thousand plus 40 thousand x will be the answer so that is 20 percent into 9 lakh will be 1 lakh 80 thousand 20 percent into 2 lakh x will be 40 thousand x so now what is the cost they have given so i told you first they have given variable cost that is direct wages direct material and uh, variable overhead so either na add madre more no add madre 15 agutte fixed cost kotti dare idak add madre 1 lakh 20 thousand agutte so adhe formula ali koni dare so variable cost per unit into sales why we are uh, multiplying in way with the sales means the variable cost has given per unit so per unit means number of units ke name now wo multiply marbeku so number of units is 4 lakhs so 15 into 4 lakh plus total cost already amount nal got the right 10 lakh 20 thousand so 15 into 4 lakh is 6 60 lakhs <coughs> So 60 lakhs plus 10 lakh 20 thousand the total cost is 70 lakh 20 thousand <coughs> so total cost them give a time to total cost just is there 70 lakh 20 thousand is the total cost capital employed is to there 9 lakh plus 22 lakh exceed their profit is bar back 18 1 lakh 80 thousand plus 40 thousand x and third point that is the total cost is stuck there 70 lakhs 20,000 now we have to calculate the selling price so sales ke formula any there if we add the cost and the profit we'll get the sales right so here so take that formula <coughs> so sales here we have 4 lakh x so 4 lakh units so 4 lakh x cost is to there 7 lakh 20,000 is the cost plus profit is to the profit 1 lakh 80 thousand plus 40 thousand x here it is <coughs> i'll now just simplify this so 4 lakh x 4 lakh x here 4 lakh x is there here 40 thousand x is there so take this 40,000 x here so 4 lakh x minus plus value they will be the finest value over there so 4 lakh minus 40,000 x equals 70 lakh 20,000 plus 1 lakh 80,000 so if we less this the 3 lakh 60,000 will come 3 lakh 60,000 x 7 lakh so if we add this 70 lakh 20,000 plus 1 lakh 80 thousand 